country of literature, of poetry, of the Romanesque, in other words, in France, there is a great urban legend which recounts that since 1872, hidden behind the walls of Saint-Germain-des-Prés, there exists a mysterious university in the social sciences. It is said that this university is ranked fourth in the world in the QS ranking for political science and international relations, which seems to make sense given that almost half of its 13,000 students have a foreign passport. My name is Xiao Chen. Uh, I'm from China. Moi, je viens d'Haïti. And so you do where you are? I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois, in the United States of America. What's more, it is reported that this university has actively increased diversity through progressive admissions policies, both in France and internationally. These initiatives involve partnerships with over 100 high schools in socio-economically underprivileged areas. 30% of first-year students are believed to receive need-based financial aid. Il y a des gens qui viennent de partout, mais il y a des gens aussi qui viennent de partout dans la France, et ça, ça je trouve ça important. Legend has it that this university is called Sciences Po. Where did they find this name? It's anyone's guess. Sciences Po is said to be based in Paris, but that's only part of the story. In fact, the Sciences Po undergraduate college is purported to consist of seven campuses across France. In Paris, Nancy, Dijon, Poitiers, Le Havre, Menton, and Reims. Sources tell us the undergraduate college comprises three years of study, that is, two years on one of the seven campuses and a compulsory third year abroad. At the undergraduate college, students are said to learn the basics in history, sociology, economics, political science and law, not to mention foreign languages and artistic workshops. After these three years of study, the university reportedly offers two-year master's programs to prepare students for professional life. These master's programs are spread out among seven schools. The Law School, the School of International Affairs, the School of Public Affairs, the Doctoral School, the School of Management and Innovation, the Urban School, and the School of Journalism. It is further rumored that Sciences Po has long excelled at preparing students for civil service entrance exams, but that now 80% of its students seek to enter the business world and the private sector in general. The secret to their employability? Master's programs that combine theory with workplace skills taught by industry practitioners. Sciences Po has also purportedly become a major center for research, with projects that regularly win French, European and international funding and awards. A precious asset indeed for its doctoral students. The legend goes on to state that the institution is destined to develop still further, with the Paris campus maintaining its historic address on the Rue Saint-Guillaume while expanding to include the Hôtel de l'Artillerie. It is a project of paramount importance for Sciences Po because it will be the mainspring of the development of our institution for decades to come. It will form a real urban campus, very comparable to the campuses of uh, some of our partner universities, Columbia University in the city of New York, uh, the London School of Economics, or Hong Kong University. Opening in 2021, Long considered a hub of intellectual activity and debate, people have reported seeing the likes of Ban Ki-moon, Emmanuel Macron, J.R., Sheryl Sandberg, Sundar Pichai, Christine Lagarde, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Joseph Stiglitz and Justin Trudeau within its venerable walls. Notre plan est en train de fonctionner parce qu'on est en train de rassembler les gens et pas parce qu'on est en train d'exploiter des peurs, peur ou de l'anxiété. According to our sources, Sciences Po offers an extraordinary range of activities. United Nations conference simulations, a welcome program for refugees and asylum seekers, a business incubator, well over a hundred student clubs and organizations, sports competitions, student dance and musical performances, alumni galas, and a famous relay race known as the Cross. To sum up, a utopia an imaginary campus born of the imagination of poets which could, alas, never really exist. Oh, this would be wonderful, but nobody would seriously believe this. <laughs>